Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling petrified about doing this review. Oh, petrified fish. Yes, it is. It's a petrified fish, my friends, and we love petrified fish. It tastes so good. Better than lutefisk. You ever had lutefisk? Go to that Lutheran church up in Minnesota. Or my buddy Linus lives in Sweden. I'm always like, he goes, that's not the Swedes. We don't do the, I don't know who it is. Maybe the, day. I don't know who it is. But um, the lutefisk, no, no, you don't want that. But you want this petrified fish. Yes, you do, baby. Deep carry pocket clip. Supposed to be ceramic bearings. Well, we're going to take this apart. But look at this. Carbon fiber G10. And it's smooth. One thing that really impressed me about this one, and I've had other petrified fish brand knives, and I got mine on all, 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 all AliExpress. And I know a lot of you people are like, uh, bunch of junk from China, whatever. I mean, I've handled like thousands of knives, so I know a knife when I and I've got one in my hand. And yes, this is a good knife, and I really like it. So I got this one instead of this crazy thing. And then like a Micarta deal. So I guess you can get, so. and they all got the Bowler K110 blades. And man, did I send that in to get confirmed i think i did and yeah it te i mean it'll it'll read d2 on a pmi machine because it's the same the uh, recipe is d2 it's just bowler's you know recipe of d2 okay it's the pf 949 which i forget all that kind of crap but it was a rocking 59.99 i'm going to show you some stuff in the box really cool so customer reviews five stars of course and here's your stats 21 and a half uh, centimeters, 90 mil, so uh, three and a half inch blade, uh, almost four millimeter thick blade stock, blah, blah, blah. Hardness supposed to be 58 to 60. Don't know on that. And then you can have the carbon fiber in G10 or damask pattern plus whatever. Uh, then, uh, you know, they're saying it's kind of a bead blast on there and uh, ceramic bearings. I thought they said ceramic somewhere, but... Whatever. So this is a budget knife, right? Because it's a $59 and get that liner. That may be one of my little kind of peeves to this is you. Okay. Well, it, you kind of got to be intentional and you got to back up. Okay. So you got to back up in here. You don't want to be up in here and, and, and cut this loose. You want to be back here because here's where the detent ball still in effect so you need, you need it right there. And then it's fidgety, okay? Then it's fine. You just, I mean, every knife's kind of got its own spot when it's a flipper with a detent ball to, you know, cut it loose and make it your fidget factor. This is fine as long as you back it up here. And the flipper tab is plenty tall enough to, to give you that bump in the thumb and let you know, you better get the hell out of the way. Oh, by the way, why do you want to get the hell out of the way? Because you don't want your thumb to have that happen to it. That would be a bad thing. And so, and on, and on, and on, and on. That kind of thing. So, no, that would be a bad thing. Um, but Petrified Fish comes in a funky box like this. Um, they have a lot of different models. When I saw this one, I really liked it. Okay. I like this design. Do you not like this design? I mean, it, it, it does everything here, right? Um, it has piercing capabilities, kind of a swedge here for more of a reinforced tip. It has a nice belly here. It has a flat grind. So it can slice, it can pierce, it can do all that. You've got this nice go forward position, which I like. Now, there's a lot of people don't want to choil up front. I do. So for me, this is fine. I like this. Okay, control. I can get in here, middle finger right in this choil area. But if I want to back it up, I'm fine with first finger being here. The rest of this is neutral. See how neutral that is? Okay. Now, what will catch your attention about this $59 shooter is when you touch this, it feels so smooth. It feels velvety. 
not glassy, but kind of a velvety feel to it. It's weird. I don't think I've felt another knife recently that has this kind of velvety feel to it. Not, you know, I mean, really smooth. Like somebody's really taken some time to give this a seamless finish, which of course is not super aggressive grippy, but you know, and rounded these areas nicely. Now the insides are chamfered as well, so they're not sharp. You got a backspace or just kind of standard black G10. Okay, nothing really fancy there. And you can see the layers in through here of the, you know, carbon fiber G10. Uh, there's your lock up, mm, 25 to 30%. I mean, you can see how that's machined there. So it's kind of hard to see the inside part of that lock up on there. But that's, that's 30%. Drop. Now, take a look at the blade a little closer. Okay. Check it out. See, look at this. You notice how it's crowned here? I mean, who does that on like a $50 shooter? I, I don't know. Uh, I can't think of anybody. And most blades are, let me see, you know, kind of squared off like this. It's squared off. It's my Spyderco. And this is not a $50 shooter either, by the way. But, you know, crowned over. Where's my, where's my Civivi? Okay. So there's my Vexor. So this is what most, I mean, they're not sharp. Okay. They're chamfered off over here, but they're, you know, just straight across. But look at that. Wow, that's nice. I mean, that's nice. Uh, kind of gives you a total feeling of uh, feeling good in the hands, which begs another question, by the way. Uh, you know, how fat is this? Okay, not that. I was going to guess closer to six tenths, but it's not. It's 13.7, so it's, it's, not, it's not slender. It's a 0.53. Let's look at the blade stock. Well, it's 0.14, so it's got to be close to, yeah, 3.6, 3.7. Okay. So that's true. Uh, you know, satin flats. Uh, look around. Uh, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to guess. I think I can see, yeah, where it's uh, skeletonized liners in there. Pocket clip. Well, there is an obvious fail there. Those screws should be flat, shouldn't they? I mean, like that kind of flat. See? That's flat, and that's not. So we got the big, you know, muffin tops there, right? And get them a quick trip. Muffin tops. But, uh, but we've got it, you know, embedded into the scale, which means it's right hand only. There's no left hand option. Lanyard hole, okay, that's good. And yes, it's placed correctly. And yes, I think this knife needs one. Also, for a little breakup of this monotonous pattern here, but is it billboarded too much? Nah, nah, not really. Nah, it's okay. I thought I was reading something there, but I'm not. I'm just, it's just goop here. Um, so, yeah. And how much does it weigh, my friends? And what's the length? And I already told you that, three and a half inches. Um, probably eight and a quarter overall. So 125, and let's go back to, that's grams, by the way. 4.42 ounces. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Not too shabby. Um, well, we're at three point five up here so you know 90 millimeters okay but you know we've got three and a half we got a little 3.55 cutting edge and down here closer to 3.75 so i mean you make the call on that what you want to call it 3.75 or three point you know six uh somewhere in there and you know, eight and a half overall. So it's definitely a quarter inch longer than the PM2, uh, paramilitary two. And then you got 21 and a half centimeters overall length. So decent size knife, pretty good size blade. Uh, not real 
thin and gent carry type. But um, yeah, ergos are good. Okay, we already talked about that. Uh, my uh, right there. Now, uh, that was my balance point. Blade length to handle length, that's fine. And design flow is great. So uh, there's just something about the design of this knife that really attracted me. And I thought it was worth getting. And it took a while to get here. You know how shipping is these days. But uh, I really, I, I'm really impressed with the knife. Uh, that's why I'm putting it on my channel. I mean, I get knives here and there from uh, AliExpress or wherever and don't put them on my channel here and there. Uh, if they're disappointing and, you know, there's a bunch of them, I don't. So this one made my channel because I'm pretty impressed with it. Look at this nice... A uh, pocket clip and let me put you know it does beg like is it coated or is that anodized and I'm not catching any magnetism here okay I'm feeling something underneath but that's the steel liners of the knife but here no so when I could take this off too and I'm going to disassemble it anyhow because we're to that point in our discussion so Let's just do that, and let's see what we got here. Let's check this out. Okay, back here. We got to go from the back because the logo's on the front. There's no place to start there. But this is a number eight. Now, what are we doing elsewhere back here? Are these number sixes? Ah, they are. So, complaint number two, of course, and let's fold this baby up, by the way. It's going to cut ourselves. Complaint number two, yeah... Number six is now almost everybody's still doing number six is on their pocket clip. So I'm not going to give it any demerits for that. And let's see if old man with cataracts can see. At least I got one eye done. Okay. Got the other eye coming up in a few days. And then I'll be like an eagle. Uh, Maybe it is eagle we're thinking about because my wife keeps flipping me the bird. So, bird, eagle. Um, and here's the, uh, wow, okay. Yes, we are. We're all the way through there. Carbon fiber G10, kind of interesting. And, of course, the liners are embedded. And there's your pocket clip right in there. So, that's nice. Now, pocket clip. That was one thing we were going to talk about. And... Look at screws are different length. Now, let's get back with my little 3M magnet. Nah, there's no magnetism. That's got to be titanium. And you know what? I should have, and you probably were reading the specs there, and you already know that because I wasn't paying attention to that part of the specs that I was showing on screen. But that is a titanium anodized pocket clip. So, okay. And these are not titanium. These are steel, ceramic detent ball, and it's definitely skeletonized. Next. Okay, so we got ceramic bearings, including them little babies that just fell out. Okay. Bingo, bango. And, of course, you know, we've got skeletonized liners on the other side, etc., etc. There's your stop. Blade stop here. And let's throw my pivot on the floor. All right, Aru. And yes, we have a completely D-shaped pivot. So a lot of things they got right. Body screws need to go to number eights. Um, and I can't expect that out of the pocket clip. And the pocket clip being titanium anodized, okay, that's a plus. This D-shaped pivot, one-piece setup, I like. That's good, okay? So that's a plus. Ceramic bearing, ceramic detent. That's a plus. Let's take a little closer look at this. Uh, looks fine. Pretty clean. There's not grunge, really. There's just my fingerprints and a little bit of oil rolling around. But other than that, nice kind of bead blast area along here. Really looks nice. Non-reflective. You know, for when I go on on my SEAL team stuff, you know, my assignments that I, that I have to do still. Um... And yeah, nice. Okay, so we got our big mess. We're a big pile of parts. Not very big pile. Not very big at all. 
So what do we got? We got a little squared off area right there. Why? Well, I think you know why, because this is squared off too. So squared to squared. And there we are. And let's put some of them in there. Let's get the old KPL. Boom. Ejected that top. And let's go merry-go around here. And, oh, let's throw our blade stop on here before we install the blade. Throw the blade on. And, of course, you can see where that stop runs its course. Throw a, another set of uh, bearings on here. And we're looking at them. They're looking straight up at us. And what do we need now? Well, we just need a liner, don't we? And that's, it's go time on that. So let's put the, uh, the scale over the top. Throw the other side of that crazy petrified fish right here. It's all good in the neighborhood and easy breezy, my friends. Now, here we go with the partial disappointment situation here being number six screws but there's plenty of other manufacturers guilty of the same um, faux pas with number six just it's just I rarely ever have a failure on a number eight but I round these off on a fairly regular basis when you go to a number eight you keep the it's more pronounced here and these will make better contact and not round off as much. So now I have kept these screws installed here longer to the back, shorter to the front because we're coming through here. So, and of course it's right hand only as we said before. Tap, tap, tap and let them kind of drop in their hole. And... Uh, Let's make sure we're not crossing threads. And we're not. And I jumped out of that one. Okay, I don't want to tighten it too much until I get this one put into position. And it's good. And this one, see I jumped that a little bit. Got to push and make good contact when you're doing number sixes. But we're there. We're solid. We're centered. So it did go back together pretty well no hardware failures i keep hearing from people in all kinds of different times oh stripped a screw top of it just fell off blah 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 i rarely have a hardware failure rarely have a hardware failure and you know probably half of the hardware failures i've had were not on chinese made knives okay so yikes um so I've been to Benchmade and Spyderco and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, okay. I think we're, we're pretty good here, actually. I don't think I need to adjust that pivot anymore. But just because I don't need to doesn't mean I won't. Okay, even nicer. Any play? No, no play, and we're centered. And last but not least, if you've already clicked out, you've missed the best part of the petrified fish. Bingo, bango, buddy. What do you get with this? Check it out. PF949 Warrior. And this is not just a cheap... You know what? Hold on. Is that steel? Ooh, no. It's not magnetic. I thought, this feels like titanium. It's not magnetic. That's all I'm going to say. But Petrified Fish, really nice tag. And then they give you this separate lanyard. At first I was like, what the hell? That's a land that that's not gonna fit this. And my buddy I was FaceTiming with says, uh, you are an idiot. <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, and of course this is adjustable for size, but it fits right over your head. There's your dog tag, dog boy. And um, oh, you get this card and a three dollar quap on okay 
for your next purchase, I guess. And it comes with a tag through the through the uh, through the lanyard hole, I believe. That's where it was when I got it, so I had to cut that away. And then uh, there's extra hardware. Go figure if you want to go all black. See what I'm saying? You can put black because you may want to do that with, you know, with this carbon fiber stuff. And, of course, you've got different styles that you can buy as well. Okay, then you get a microfiber cloth. Then you get this to where you can do that as a keychain instead of a lanyard. See what I'm saying? So hold on. How much gear do I get with this knife for 59 smacks? There you go with that. That. I get the lanyard. I get a coupon. I get a microfiber. Uh... I get a whole set of hardware to flip it the other way. And uh, that's 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 a big ass mess, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Where's room for the knife? I can't remember how it fit in there, but it did. And then it goes over the slider like that. So, just saying, petrified fish. Interesting knife, that's for sure. And I like it really well. cool huh yeah it, it it's fairly fidget friendly this this liner uh takes a little getting used to it's not as pronounced they're not giving you a big differential in height here so yeah be aware of that it does uh demand that you think about what you're doing here when you're fidgeting with it at least for the a few initial flips and after that, you can go mind numb and still do this and have fun. So, and having fun is what it's all about with the knife world. Because we love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.